Welcome back to another episode of Hobby Adventures. Today we are gonna do a decoder install. Yes, first one of the year. So the victim on today is the Northlander. Okay, so for this installation, these are the things I'm gonna be using. Set of tweezers, just in case. You can use business cards, but what I did was, this was a for sale sign, and I just cut out some squares, two of those. Your decoder, whatever decoder you select. I'm going with the lock pilot. Product number here is 54685. And then the locomotive itself. First thing that we're gonna do is remove the shell. What's always good is to always have like a, a, a rubber mat or a sponge mat, so I'll be using this one right here. What we're gonna need to do is remove the fuel tank. So just turn the bogey off to the one direction. And just Gently pull. All right, so I'm gonna put the fuel tank over here facing that way. Get those cards that we cut up and place them in here. Now there are clip points. There's uh, three of them, six in total, three on each side. So one just behind the driver door, one in the dead center, and then one right behind this door over here. Now there are some really fine details up here, just like the bell and the horn, just be careful. Get your fingernail in there. Oh, that actually hurt. side So as you can see right over here is the NEM651 DCC or DC board. And that's what we're gonna be replacing. So we can go ahead, grab our new decoder. Just gonna take this extra wire, wrap it around. Also what I'm gonna do is uh, there's a little bit of bare wire exposed here i'm gonna just snip that off the extra wire is actually for an extra function so never know what i'm gonna do maybe later on i want to add some interior lights or something so like i said i'm just gonna snip that out so i'm assuming it's gonna go like this so all the wires on this one over here are soldered up on top so these are all soldered up on top Let's put it on our test track and see how it goes. Now before I turn on track power, 
let's go into single mode new logo create manually all right so address three done new program track and i'm going to turn on the headlights that's just so that i have an indication of whether it's going to be working or not all right so let's cross our fingers and see if it works turn track power on all right so we got lights uh let's put it in reverse reverse forward reverse awesome give a little bit of uh juice oh very nice okay so we're done here time to put everything back together because we are pretty much done with this installation so just remember how i put the fuel tank facing the right so I put the shelf facing the right, so I ended up putting the chassis facing the right. So I know that everything's going in the same direction. Take the nose of the chassis, put it into the shelf first, and just go very slowly. As you're coming in, just, you don't have to put a lot of force, and there you go. Just give a little pull on the, just a little tiny pull, make sure that everything's in there. All right, so everything is flush. Next, again, facing to the right. Let's put the fuel tank back on and just put pressure on all four corners. Now just examine it. I got a little bit of uh, the grease from the inside of the chassis on the body. I'll just go over with a microfiber cloth to wipe everything down to clean out the body. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> our details are in here, our bell, our horn, the fuel tank is back in there. Yeah, that was a pretty easy install, like super easy. So that is it everyone for the video. Uh, this decoder install went pretty much super simple. Um, I'd give this maybe um, a seven and a half out of 10, closer to an eight. I don't wanna say so much that it was difficult. I was just really nervous. I didn't wanna ruin the body. But once you got the shell off the chassis, it was simple as plug and play and that's it, you're done. All right, until the next time, keep on modeling.